This mural is the monarch butterfly. So I got the idea for the by, by looking at an elephant and then the elephant's ears kind of look like flapping like a flapping butterfly wings. Or I painted the elephant to look like a monarch. So that's kind of playing with the idea of um, like the way we look at nature. So like if we look at a zebra, we think, wow, that is a really beautiful pattern. You know, the, the pattern's actually functional. So I mean, so when the zebra moves, it, it becomes invisible to a lion because the lion can't perceive it, the, the lines going that way. I love elephants. I think they're the most amazing animals. But the, you know, their skin is kind of dirty and um, gray. And, I, and like the monarch is like one of the most beautiful things, aesthetically pleasing things. So I thought it'd be fun to bling up the, the poor elephant a little bit. You know, animals in nature have evolved to avoid their natural predators. But now the biggest natural predator to animals is mankind. So, and also, like think about like a, an animal that's becoming extinct. It's like. Cows aren't going to become extinct, so like if they become useful to humans in, 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 a, in a way that's sustainable to their life, then they'll survive. When I was in, um, in college, I was, in, I was taking photography classes, so I, I would assign myself different things to do. So I, I wanted to do a photo essay about the circus, which I, I've always kind of loved the circus since I was a little kid. I think maybe maybe the first art I was ever exposed to was circus sideshow banners. You know, you pay the money, you go back there and see somebody that's deformed. And, and I realized that the, the art was really the banners and the idea of the banners. But uh, So anyway, so I'm following this uh, circus and um, they had elephants. So they, they said, you know, do you want to you want to hang out with the elephants, so I got to hang out with the elephants, and they, they, they seem very, uh, I don't know, they seem very human to me, like there was one that was a teenager, and they said, oh yeah, she's a teenager, and uh, like they go through their teenage years where they go knock all of our trailers over and wreak havoc, and then they kind of calm down, and, but you know, the humans and the elephants, like they really had a, a weird symbiotic relationship in the circus, you know, and they didn't seem like, um, it, it seemed like they were playing together and having fun together and, and enjoying each other. I don't know, I just fell in love with elephants. <laughs> now, Pop's Realism, in my mind, is the last authentic art movement since Pop. Because, you know, art movements formed, you know, in the past, like the Surrealists and stuff, because everybody went to a cafe together, everybody was on the same page, everybody was going to each other's studios, um, everybody was studying each other's art and competing with each other or having a community. The last time that authentically has happened is with the Pop Surrealist in LA, where they everybody knew everybody, everybody worked together, um, everybody quickly figured out that they weren't going to be led into the bigger art world, it was a different kind of path, and they created their own galleries and their own collectors and their own movement, and uh, probably the biggest champion of this movement has been Corey Helford Gallery, but they've always had kind of a small, more petite kind of gallery, and I think they felt like that maybe in some ways this movement, as powerful as it, as it is and as great as some of these artists are, wasn't getting its due, you know, maybe because of the size of the gallery or maybe because street art is so sexy now or whatever. So um, I think they decided to step up and, and do this gallery that this gallery, the Corey Helford Gallery now in downtown is actually uh, bigger than the museum I showed at last month in Texas. So it's like this incredible, amazing space. So it presents the art with the gravitas that I think this kind of art deserves. So also there's a huge mural scene uh, downtown and since the new Corey Helford Gallery is like plopped right in the middle of everything, they have a gigantic wall on the side. So I started to occupy some of the space on that wall, creating a piece that relates to the Neo Nature show. Putting art out of public is very important and it, it kind of announces they're here and, and this is the kind of art they're going to show and this is what they're about. Yeah.